Hello guys, hi from the seaside town of Kep in Cambodia. It's a strange place full of abandoned old French mansions and we're gonna have a bit of exploring around here so come with me and let's check it all out. This is a totally weird place. It's obviously one of these planned cities or well it never grew it never really became a city but the french designed the street layout it's a grid system there are all these plots of land with walls around them most of them are just empty bits of land but some of them have these nice old french villas tucked away and uh some of them are inhabited and uh, some of them are basically just empty shells overgrown covered in v uh, vines and all kinds of undergrowth well last time i was here it was uh must have been 10 or 11 years ago and i didn't actually come into the middle of the place where I am now. I just went along the seaside road where the uh, majority of the old French villas are. And uh, I'd crossed over from Vietnam, from Ha Tien in that time, along the coast road. And uh, I've just, yeah, I don't know. I just thought, okay, there's not much here, but it's just a totally weird place. Anyway, Later I was looking at some maps and I realized there were a bunch of streets running behind the coast road. So I thought maybe there's something back here worth checking out. So I've decided to come back again and have a bit of a deeper look around. This is obviously the main boulevard of Kep. Over there you can see there's some ruins behind those trees would be an old French building, I assume. Um, yeah, this is obviously the main boulevard. <laughs> this is the center of what's supposed to be the busiest part of the town. But there's not much here. It looks kind of cool though. Definitely a very strange place. There's a nice sea breeze coming in here. It's a sunny day not too hot though because of the sea breeze which is really nice you can see they're doing something down there but it work from my understanding what i was told at least by an old foreign guy who said he's been living here for many many years he said the rich people who run the country have bought up all these bits of land and I guess they're just sitting on them as investments and what uh, development there is. He said it's uh, not the kind of stuff he thinks is optimal. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, what I would say is if they want to get this place really off the ground, they need to sell all these little empty plots of land to individual Cambodians who can put houses and shops along these streets. They need more people basically. You cannot have more shops if you don't have more customers and you need people to build places. You know, build it and they will come. That kind of thing. Okay, we'll wander along a bit further down here and see what's going on. So, still wandering along the main boulevard. A few cows. Hello! Yeah, 
another crumbling French villa. People live in that one. I'm still heading down the main boulevard here. Let's check some of the local food. Looks like chicken, soup with vegetable. Oh, uh huh. Oh, okay. Pork, yeah, pork. Pig, it's pork. Oh, okay, it looks nice. Some fish in there. Looks like catfish, maybe. I'm not sure. It's kind of a pate type stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Local cuisine here. Last night I did find some food for a reasonable price, but I noticed a lot of the places are a bit overpriced. Here's the old Kep market here from the French times. Example of a bit of old architecture around here. Nothing too flashy though, I can assure you. I walked around it last night. I haven't actually been inside it. It's pretty dark in there. Let's have a quick look inside, eh? It's a bit of a shambles around the outside of this market. Lots of rubbish lying around everywhere. All right, let's dive in. Bit of gold here. Hello. Cosmetics. Oh, can get your fingernails done here. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. <laughs> looks so good. <laughs> some drinks, looks like some coffee there. There we are, yeah, a bit of coffee. <laughs> working hard or hardly working. <laughs> It's a bit hot outside, but it's pretty cool here in the market. Hello, nice baby. Is that your baby? <laughs> You're too young. <laughs> no, of course it's not. But in this part of the world, you never know. Hmm. Can get a bit of tailoring done here. Hello, happy lunch. <laughs> Good selection of fruit here. Some of it looks imported even. Hey, how are you doing? You okay? Okay, good, good. Nice to see you. Hello. Some old aerosol cans. What are they doing here? Very old looking. 
Good, yum yum. Mm. yum, yum. <laughs> how much? How much? How much for this one? How much rail? Oh, how much for dog meat? Can eat dog? No. Can eat eat dog? Can not? Okay. This this one, same same dog? No. <laughs> 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 Thank you. This one pork, huh? Pork. Yes, yes, pork. Pork, okay. Yes, I like pork. <laughs> Hello. Can you tell me the future? Can you tell me in my future? You look like fortune teller. <laughs> they cannot speak it, but in Khmer you can, right? It's a nose here. What's that from? It's from dog? Beef. From beef. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> ah, beef. Okay. It's okay then. Beef nose is okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right. We'll head back through this way. Hello, boss. You are a young boss. <laughs> Shop owner, good to start working at a young age, make some money, build a business empire, take over the world, no problem. Okay, there's the real mother there. That's good. Stuffed toys. Let's head back out. Ooh, here's an empty French house. Let's have a look. One of the number of empty, abandoned French houses in the old colonial French town of Cap. Let's see what's inside. It's a bit spooky, that's for sure. Kind of cool though. Uh, someone lives in a place around the back there. Oh, looks like a giant termite mound. Freaky. That's weird. What, is, what a strange thing to see inside a house. wonder if there are any termites crawling around on it. I don't see any. Ah, really strange. Never, never seen a termite mound like that before. Oh, there's a whole toilet here. Uh, walls are cracking badly. It's probably in danger of falling down this place, but we'll head up and see what's upstairs. Look at the roof tiles are falling in. I hope one doesn't fall on my head. A vines growing up the stairway. Bedrooms up here. Ooh, it's got a nice sea breeze coming through. Lovely. Would have been great back in the day. Ah, it's just a shame, you know, these places were left to rot like this. But of course, in the Khmer Rouge time, what would you expect? But after that time, you would think something could have been done. So here's the main jetty of Cap, Pukok Island, Vietnam, out there in the haze. I don't know if you can make it out. And uh, the, the land border with Vietnam is just around there, probably by those hills, not far away. There's a few beaches along there too. You can actually see the color of the beaches along there. In front of us is Rabbit Island. It's a very short hop across with the boat. 
they charge 25 American dollars to take a boat just for yourself or with you and your friends. That's the price for the whole boat. Uh, they're supposed to have a ferry at one o'clock, I was told by a Frenchie. And uh, the French guy said he came here at one o'clock and the boat wasn't running. Kind of strange, but... But yeah, you see there's a couple places to get a drink or something to eat. Here's the old customs building. Old French one. Keeping the French customs alive. <laughs> Le custom of le baguette. Okay, and so yeah, like I said, I talked to a French guy who was hoping to catch the ferry across. Dolphin statue down there. That's the main road going along. Funny little French building here. Okay, I'm gonna head up here and turn left. I've already done down the right there. I'm gonna head down this way next. Check out this place. Look at all the bullet holes in the front of it. Look at all the bullet holes, it's crazy. Obviously, Khmer Rouge came in shooting. What happened to the owners of this place, I wonder? Nice place, lovely old French place. Ah. Sad, but people living in there, obviously. I guess squatters. I'm not going to try to go in this one, I think. All right, I'm heading along the same direction. Following the main coast road here. On the left side, we've got the girl with the dolphin statue. There's no beach down there, just a seawall. Looks like they got it set up for nighttime, kind of... Uh, festivities along the way here. It's pretty warm out here. Definitely a place that is uh, it's better to get around with a bicycle or a motorbike instead of walking. But it's definitely walkable, but uh, yeah, takes a bit of effort for sure. It's my second time here. Last time I was here was uh, about 11 years ago. Didn't think I'd ever be back, but uh, I thought I should show you guys around a little bit. This is the provincial hall back behind that gate over there across the other side of this square. I guess this is kind of a central square. Right, let's continue on down the main coastal road here and I'll show you some more stuff. Here's the first bit of sand in the town here. They've put a couple beaches in along the way here. Hello! We love Cambodia! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you! Bye bye! All right. People in Southeast Asia love to sit on mats on the beach and eat a lot of food and have drinks. Hopefully they'll take away all the leftovers and the packaging when they finish. So, Kep is famous for crab. People actually come here just to eat crab. It's cheaper to get crab here than a lot of places in the region. So this beach, I assume, was made um, there's another one just around the corner up here. That's the main one which was made by the local authorities. Used to be all rocks along the coastline. The part we walked along parallel to the ocean before was all rocks. Let's head around the corner and check it out. So this is the main beach which has been put in here by the Cambodian authorities. They shipped in all the sand from I'm not sure where. It was all rocks before. Statue down there looks like mermaid. Some islands out there off the coast, Rabbit Island and a few other ones. Some old French place up there and a little one back there. This is the sign of the new development that I've heard about from the expat who's lived here for a long time. Looks pretty cheap, not really nice, is it? It's a bit of a blight. It's an old French building there. They built something on the top which doesn't go together at all. So they got Oh, almost took a tumble there. 
so they're gonna have to uh, try to be a bit more thoughtful about how they develop this place, I would say. But the beach looks pretty good, I gotta say. The footpath here, very nice. That's obviously new. Um, yeah, those little kind of cabana things behind the green fence back there. I don't know, they look a little bit tacky. But uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, it looks like they put a little, little tourist market in on the corner here. Hello. <laughs> Someone burning garbage back there by the smell of it. See the smoke? This is the main roundabout. This is where you could normally get transport from in the past. So, yeah, this being the main beach, you know, you can see this is where the development's been going on. This is obviously new. So in the past, when I came through here 11 years ago, there was just a rocky waterfront and nothing else really, hardly no one around, pretty much almost no one at all. And just up on the left up here, there were these little shacks where you could buy some crab meals. I don't even know if these buildings were here, maybe, maybe that's an old French one, but not sure about that. Or wander down to the crab shacks and have a look. Well, there used to be some little crab stalls along here. They've all been replaced by this kind of uh, set up here. Looks like it's something set up by one owner, maybe with a bunch of different people using it. And yeah, I guess they take orders for food or something like that along here. I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> Hello! Are you the mermaid? Huh? Are you the mermaid? No, you swim? I'm a human being. <laughs> oh, okay. You're looking good. Thanks a lot. You too. Bye-bye. Well, it's changing, but everything changes and it's becoming a resort for normal Cambodians. If they do it the right way, it's gonna end up being a cool place, a fun place, but yeah, in the past there was almost no one here at all, so. Yeah, it's being used. Let's see how it goes in the future. There are plans to extend the beach very far, all the way along around the bay there. So that'll really pump it up. If the, I'm sure that'll go through. Apparently they're supposed to start any day now. Any day now. We'll see how it goes. Come back in five or 10 years or 20 years, won't recognize the place. You'll have to decide for yourself if you wanna come through this way. But if you're coming through from Pukok Island, Ha Tien on the South Vietnam coast, you can make a tour all along the coastline, follow the way through from Vietnam along the Cambodian coast, and then through to the Thailand coast. It's a pretty good idea. Should be promoted and developed that it all connects, which it currently really isn't promoted at all in that way. So that's a big opportunity waiting to be uh, turned on. And here's the roundabout, and this is the road to Campot this way. And uh, there's a little bit more if you go around the road further. There's a uh, few more businesses. The road comes back along the coastline there. Just before you leave town, there's a few more things. Not too much. This should be a crab market down there as well, if I recall. And that's where we just came from, to the left down there by the sea. That's the road that goes to Vietnam around the coast there. Looks like there's a guest house in here. I saw a sign that said guest house. Yeah, and an old wall of a bit of French, former, former French property. All right, so let's see about what's going on as far as I'm gonna head on down to the next place, I think, down the line. See where, see where things take me, to see where the road takes me. This place is called Kep West. 
the last bit of cap before you head out to Camp Hart but it's actually not on the main road to Camp Hart so most people don't bother coming through this part a few empty French buildings over there from colonial times another old French colonial place there and this is the actual Kep crab market in here which is basically almost to the end of Kep right pretty much Well, I just came in on this dirt road here. This is the road to the train station in Kep, Cambodia. And uh, this is the train station over here. So I'm gonna head off, guys. Um, thanks for coming along once again, of course. And uh, hope you can subscribe and like and hit the bell button so you get uh, updates for upcoming videos it would be cool and uh yeah it's great see you in the next one and don't be late